What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'll show you how to draw Goku from Dragon Ball. Let's begin today's lesson in the center of the page with the bottom edge of the brow. I'm going to leave a gap in the center of the page. Let's start over on the left side. I'm going to draw a curve that goes up and then we'll bend that out towards the side. Let's line up the inside over on the right and do the same thing. We bend this up and then out. Now let's go back to the inside and curl the brow, coming in and then up on both sides. Now I want to add some thickness to the eyebrows. On the outside, angle this up and in. Now I want to taper this so it gets narrower as it comes in and then down towards the bottom point. Let's go in and fill the eyebrows in black. Now from here, we're gonna tuck the pupils in underneath the eyebrows. Let's start on the left side. I'm gonna draw a half circle, coming down and then up on the inside. Let's line this up on the right. We're going that same sized half circle. And then we'll fill those half circles in black. Now I'm gonna go out to the side and draw the outside edge of the eyes. On the bottom corner of the eyebrow, let's step in. Just gonna round this out, coming down and then in towards the bottom. And then from here, I'm gonna come in and then bend that down on the inside. In the center, I'm gonna step down and draw a small V for the nose, coming down and then up. From the tip of the nose, let's step down and add a curve, coming down and then up for the top edge of the mouth. From the ends, angle is down and in towards the bottom of the mouth. Add one more curve. Now along the top, we're gonna to step down, add another curve for the top row of teeth. And then along the bottom, go up and then down for the tongue. And it will fill the center of the mouth in black. Now just underneath the tongue, we're gonna to step down, add a curve for the lower lip. Now I'm going to add some shading underneath the eyes. Underneath the left eye, I'm going to come in and then down with a short line. And do the same thing on the right. Now from here we're going to move out and draw the side of the head. From the bottom corner of the eyebrow, let's step out. I'm just going to angle the head, coming down and then in towards the jaw. Let's go over towards the right, and down and then in towards the same height. And then from the jaw, I'm going to round this out, come down and just bend that in towards the chin. Round up the chin, go out, and then up towards the right jaw. Let's add the ears on the side of the head. Starting on the left, then it's up and then out. I just want to round up the ear, come down, and just pull that in towards the side of the head. Let's add some folds inside the ear. From the top left, we'll step down, go this up and then out. Go back to the inside, add a hook, going out and then in. Now going back to the left side, we're going to add some points along the bottom edge of the hairline. We'll start on the left, come down and in towards the eye, go around the eyebrow, and then go up. Let's add another point. Coming down and in towards the top of the eyebrow, and then go up and across towards the top right. Bring this down and then in. Then it's across and then up. And add one more point on the right side, going around the eyebrow and in towards the eye. Let's go up towards the ear. Now from the center of the head, let's go all the way up towards the top of the head, starting right about here. And add a point. Let's add that large spike going over towards the left. Bend this up and over. And I'm gonna bend this across and then out. Let's bend this back in and then down on top of the head. Let's add another large point going up and out. Let's add that bend Coming down toward the tip. Now I'm just going to bring this in towards the side of the head. Let's add a couple more points on the left side. Going out 
turn it down. I'm just gonna bring this in towards the top of the ear, to right about there. It's at a slightly smaller point, going out. And we'll bend that in towards the side of the ear. Now let's go back up to the top. I'm just gonna round up the side of the head, going out and down towards the right, to right about there. It's at a point, going up and out. Come in and then down towards the side of the head. It's at another point, going out. And then bring this in towards the ear. Now I'm draw that same point, just flipped over. Going out and then down. And then pull that in towards the bottom of the ear. Let's add two smaller points along the bottom of the ear. Going out and down. And I'll bend this in and then down towards the jaw. Let's go underneath the head on either side. We're going to curve the collar. I come down and then bend that in towards the center. Go to the right, come down, and then back in. Along the top, let's add a curve. Come down and then up. Now I move out to the side, draw the side of the body, going out and then down towards the hip on the other side. And I'll connect the ends with the curve going down and then up. Let's add that circle over on the right side with the crest. I'm going to add some folds across the bottom, starting right in the middle, then it's out and then up toward the left. Go back to the center, go up and out towards the right. Now I'm going to go back up underneath the jaw, draw two straight angle lines coming down across the shoulders. Now I just want to tuck this in towards the side of the body, coming down and then in. Let's add another layer, stepping down, angle down and out back down and in towards the side. Now let's go back to the center of the body and add the knot and draw two straight lines coming down. Close off the bottom with a straight line. From the bottom corners, bend the belt going out and then down towards the side. Draw a short angle line going up and out. And then from the end, we just want to pull this up and in towards the top corner of the knot. Let's go back to the hips, step in, draw two straight lines coming down. I'm just gonna tuck the belt in behind that knot. Now from the knot, we're gonna step down in the middle, add a curve, going up and then down. Let's leave a gap in the center, go to the left side, bend the leg, coming down and then out towards the left ankle, go to the right, come down and then out. Let's round out the bottom of the pant, up towards the side. Now we're gonna go back up to the hips and round up the leg. We're going out and come straight down. Now you want to add some folds across the leg. Start from the outside, then it's down, and then up on the inside. Do the same thing on the right. And step down, draw a shorter curve. From the inside of the pant, we'll draw two straight angle lines coming down and out towards the heel. And then we'll round out the bottom of the feet. We'll come down, then up towards the toes. Let's go back to the left side. We're gonna round out the top of the foot. We're gonna go up, and then bring that down towards the inside of the heel. And we'll go back to the outside of the pant, draw a straight line coming down and out on top of the feet. Let's add a trim across the ankle, just following that same curve, coming in. And then along the top of the foot on the outside, draw two straight angle lines coming down in behind that trim. Let's go to the outside of the foot, step up, just gonna follow that curve coming in to right about there. Bend this up and then in. Top of the step in, all that same curve coming down, and we'll trace this in towards the heel. Now 
Now I'm going to go back up to the top and draw on the arms. Let's start with the arm on the left holding the staff. From the top of the sleeve, we'll step down, clear the arm coming down, and then out towards the wrist. Now from the wrist, we're going to curl the thumb, going up and then down. Let's round up the thumb and then pull that back up. Let's add the edge of the palm, coming down and then in. Now I'm going to wrap three fingers along the outside. Let's start from the side of the thumb, draw a half oval, coming out and then in. Let's come down, draw another oval, just tucking this up underneath the thumb. And then we'll do that one more time. Now you want to place the staff in an angle going in behind the fingers. So start from the top, draw a straight line going all the way up toward the top of the staff. Let's continue this line along the bottom finger, coming all the way down. Let's round up the top, round up the bottom. And then again, drawing another straight line along the inside, along the top, and then the bottom. Now I'm going to go back up to the top of the wrist and curve the palm, coming all the way around the fingers, and then in behind the staff. From the inside of the palm, then the arm comes in, and then up towards the body. Let's draw the inside of the wristband, and then curve going across. And now we're going to move over and draw the inside of the right arm. Let's start from the bottom of the sleeve, then it's out, and then down towards the wrist. From the wrist, draw a small half circle for the thumb, and we'll close off the end with a bracket. Let's add three fingers. Start from the bottom of the thumb, and come down and up around that bracket. Step down, go out, and then up with the second finger. And then the third finger, we go all the way around, and just tuck this up underneath the sleeve. Now let's add in the wristband. From the top of the thumb, we're going to bend this out and then up. Step up and draw that again. And then we'll sign our art and add a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. That's how we draw Goku from Dragon Ball. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. And if you want to draw more Dragon Ball characters, you might want to check out this video over here. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.